Typically, somatic, voluntary motor neurons conduct impulses all the way from the brain or spinal cord to the somatic effector to be innervated. In other words, there is only one neuron. Watch the impulse as it is carried from the spinal cord all the way to a somatic effector. Now, take another look at the autonomic conduction pathway. Autonomic conduction requires a relay of at least two autonomic motor neurons. The first neuron cell body is in the brain or spinal cord. Its axon, the preganglionic fiber, leaves the CNS and synapses with a second neuron in an autonomic ganglion. The cell body of the second neuron is located in the autonomic ganglion. The axon of the second neuron, the postganglionic fiber, leaves the ganglion and goes to the effector organ. Watch the impulse as it is carried by the preganglionic neuron to the collateral ganglion, where it synapses with the postganglionic axon and then travels to the visceral effectors.